A second flotilla of humanitarian aid is gearing up for a return to the Gaza. Victoria's Kevin Nish was taking part in that original flotilla last year that came under fire in international waters, killing nine people. Nish says it is his outrage over those killings that is sending him back to the Middle East. He says he's willing to risk his life again in the hope of bringing medicine and school supplies and a worldwide spotlight on the blockade of the Palestinians. Nine people were killed and several others injured when commandos opened fire on a flotilla intent on sailing through the Israeli blockade and delivering supplies to people in Palestine. One year later, the Victoria man who lived through the firefight and who was imprisoned for two days is ready to sail through the volatile political waters of the Gaza again. What I remember feeling when I was on board the ship during all the attack and the blood and the all the rest of it was I, I didn't Feel, I don't remember feeling fear, I remember feeling outrage. Kevin Nish kept his camera memory card in his underwear while detained in Israel in order to protect these photos and share them with the world. But in many ways, the raid in international waters didn't end last May for Nish. I sure do have nightmares. <laughs> Nish was just a few feet away from the shooting and the killing. Three of them died, like if, if I was standing here, one died outside that door and two died outside that door. Nish leaves for Turkey next week. He's preparing for the worst, violence, imprisonment, even death, but hopes this year's flotilla will be different. Nish says when this latest flotilla sets sail, there will be 1,500 activists, 40 of them Canadian, and most encouraging for him, there will be one Canadian ship involved. The Harper government doesn't support the mission and calls it a provocation against Israel. Nish and other activists believe the changing political landscape in the Middle East can only help their cause. Well, the Air Spring is happening in, in, in Gaza too. Um, the uh, the um, Fatah government, Abbas, who, uh, who Mr. Harper supports, is now uh, in negotiations for, for forming a, a unity government with Hamas. The flotilla plans to leave Turkey around June 24th and will dock at an undisclosed port in the Mediterranean. But will that plan ever come to fruition? Everybody says no. The naysayers aren't getting the best of niche, nor are the many people who fear the second flotilla will suffer the same fate as the first. Just because Israel broke the law and uh, was brutal doesn't mean doesn't mean we should give up. Um, that's not how my mom raised me. <laughs> Nish will be posting updates on his humanitarian mission to Palestine on his website, kevinniche.ca. In Victoria, Mary Beth Burton, A News.